Good afternoon. Welcome to your GE 6100 class, Understanding the Cell. Today's topic is about the physical cell. For the learning outcomes, number one, define physical cell. Number two, explain the importance of the physical cell. Number three, demonstrate critical reflective thought in integrating the various aspects of the physical cell. Now, let us first define what is a physical cell. Physical cell refers to the body, a marvelous container and complex, finely tuned machine with which we interface with our environment and fellow beings. The physical self is the concrete dimension, the tangible aspect of the person that can be directly observed and examined directly or indirectly. The physical self was uh, further discussed in various schools of psychology like psychoanalysis, behaviorism, and uh, humanism. There are theories that uh, define the self or the physical self. William James considered body as the initial source of sensation and necessary for the origin and maintenance of personality. James considered body as uh, subservient to the mind. For example, mental concentration can be so tightly focused that uh, even in the severest pain, the ordinary sensations seem to not be felt. A simple example could be the numerous reports of soldiers in the battle, or could be a boxer in the ring who suffer severe wounds, but uh, do not notice them until the intensity of the fighting abate. Also for genes, the body is uh, an expressive tool of in dwelling consciousness and good physical health is something that rolls up from the every part of the body of a muscularly well-trained human being and soaks the indwelling soul in him with satisfaction. It is an element of spiritual hygiene of supreme significance. Likewise, Sigmund Freud's construction of self and personality makes the physical body the core of human experience. Sigmund Freud's view of the ego is first and uh, foremost a body ego. Another theorist, Wilhelm Reich, believed that the mind and body are one and all psychological processes he postulated are part of physical processes and vice versa. So for Reich, body is an uh, essential dynamic in all psychological functioning and it plays a critical role in storing and channeling the bio energy which is the basis of human existence and experience but furthermore the physical self can be identified and can be explained through biological and environmental factors contributory to which shape the physical self. Likewise, it also delves into social cultural issues associated with physical well-being. Our physical feature is a, a crucial aspect of uh, the self. Acquaintances initially recognize people by the physical, including the face, the shape of the face, the bodily structure, the height, and uh, most likely the, the weight. But uh, more than the physical attributes, people should also consider their physical competencies, the value of physical worth, and uh, the true perception of beauty. The physical self is shaped by biological and environmental factors. The physical self, however, is surrounded by issues associated with health, hygiene, nutrition, and standards of beauty. Sometimes you would ask, Am I beautiful? Or you might also ask, do people find me attractive? Or sometimes uh, you may ask, what can I do to enhance my features? And these questions are pointing to the physical self, which uh, talks about one's appearance, what one sees in the mirror, and the physical self, which often trigger a person's first impression 
of another. But take note that the physical self is not only limited to what can be seen by the naked eye because underneath the skin is a dynamic system of biological and chemical processes that contribute to one's physical features. The body structure, the height, the weight, the skin color, the hair color, and uh, other physical characteristics do not just uh, develop at random. These are triggered by the genetic transformations and also biological development through heredity. Heredity is defined as the transmission of traits from parents to offspring or to the child. That The traits are made up of uh, specific information embedded with, the, with one's gene, the basic unit of heredity. The particular traits can be attributed to the concepts of genotype and phenotype. Genotype refers to the specific information embedded within one's genes. Not all genotypes translate to unobserved physical characteristics. On the other hand, phenotype is the physical expression of a particular trait. To make it simpler, genotype can be determined through blood testing, while phenotype can be directly observed. Um, for example, a father who has a fair skin and a mother who has a brown skin produce a brown-skinned male child. We may assume that the newborn inherited only the skin color of the mother. A close examination of his genotype may also reveal that uh, he also got the gene for fair skin from his father. And this phenomenon can be attributed to the concept of dominant gene and recessive gene. Based on our example, the brown skin of the mother was the dominant and that of his dad was the recessive gene. Thus, the brown skin manifested in the child. However, if the child in the future marries a woman who has a recessive gene for fair skin, then their offspring may have a fair skin. While once genetic information that means the extent of his uh, or her physical features. Um, it is not only the factor that influences the physical self. As, as you grow up, you are exposed to environmental influences that shape your physical self, including those from your social networks, from your expectations in society, and also cultural practices. Take note that the family forms a crucial foundation of your development, including that of your physical self. Because we know that family is uh, our first social group. Now, aside from factors of heredity, your family is also primarily responsible for how you take care of your body. Note that nutrition and sustenance was initially established by what was cooked in the home. And sometimes you may wonder that a parent would uh, complain that their children are not fond of ampalaya or vegetables. But what in fact, the food that the children ate were initially cooked at home. Thus, the food intake and diet is also often determined by, by the meals you were served. So aside from food, practices on hygiene were first transmitted by your parents. Now, as, as you grow older, you get exposed to larger social groups with different practices and with different standards. Then you became more conscious of your physical appearance. And then um, as time goes on, as the social group becomes larger, you begin to take note of your height, your weight, your facial, facial features, and other physical characteristics in comparison to your peers, especially during your adolescence. And so because of this, you may begin to engage in acts that would make you attractive and acceptable to others. That for some girls, this may include choosing the right outfit or wearing the right makeup or acting more feminine 
while the boys may begin to have facial hair, learn how to shave or go to the gym and do other similar activities. And also, one may think that one aspect of physical beauty is a person's body type because the contemporary media portrayed that slim bodies being the ideal body for women and muscular bodies for men. And, and because of this, um, adolescents indulge in activities that would enable them to ach achieve this uh, ideal body type. And they say that uh, because of these teenagers seem to have eating disorders, including bulimia and anorexia nervosa. And this could be attributed to the obsession of uh, some of being thin and may also be triggered by the pressures of the family, of the peers, and uh, some significant uh, role models. And, and so they say that most of the victims have been identified as females, but um, a significant number are also represented by males. But take note that aside from eating problems, others actually resort to cosmetic surgery to alter facial or body features. And this is actually true even in adolescents. While the medical professionals do not forbid such practices, but you might have heard or you might have read that there have been extreme cases of these procedures causing negative life-altering consequences. But, you know, it is really important to remember that physical beauty is only skin deep. That what matters is uh, one should be feeling good about oneself and one should be able to embrace a healthy perception of one's physical worth. Now, there's really nothing wrong with enhancing one's physical self. But what seems to be the problem is uh, when a person focuses too much on physical beauty and disregard everything else. So here are actually some of the tips in taking care of yourself and your body. Number one could be healthy eating, that uh, you need to eat the right amount and combination of food to ensure your health and sustenance. That uh, little by little, by following a healthy diet, this could result in healthy skin, ideal weight, and better stamina. It is also recommended to embrace a healthy lifestyle. So avoid drinking liquors or wine, avoid smoking, avoid doing unhealthy habits that may reduce the risk of illness when you exercise these activities. And um, this could also risk, reduce the risk of uh, diseases. And of course, by embracing a healthy lifestyle, this would make your immune system stronger, especially during this pandemic. Physical activities such as walking, running, and going to the gym, and engaging in sports also contribute to a healthier body. Another one is uh, maintaining proper hygiene. Taking care of your body by consistently following a hygiene regimen can also help your feeling to feel good about yourself. And now also by being confident. Self-confidence is your best makeup. And this will result in an optimal physical well-being. Be secure in yourself. Embrace a positive outlook toward different situations and problems and challenges. And uh, love and accept who you are. And so now in conclusion, the body is essential as it is a container of the mind and spirit. Without the body, there will be no experiences, sensations, psychological and physical processes. And so yeah, that's it. That's all about the topic for today, the physical self.